Greetings, greetings from uh, London, guys. Southeast London, guys. I'm always proud of where I live here in England, guys. How are you? How are you? It's your auntie. Yummy, 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 guys. What are you doing? Morning, 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 wherever you are. Good afternoon, wherever you are. Good evening, wherever you are. Let me know where you are, where you are watching me from, guys, so that we can continue to connect because you are my lovely, my lovely, genuine, genuine subscribers, followers, you name it, etc., etc. Guys, today I thought, do you know what? It's not always live, live, live. Let me vlog. Thank you very much. You, you know yourself because you really encouraged me. I'm not going to mention your name. Wow. Guys, people are nice out there. People are nice out there. They can reach out and Tiami and advise and Tiami. Wow. How many people does that, guys? Because most of the people is just about them them they are not gonna be there to encourage and yami to do the right thing wow thank you very much god bless you you are so sweet you are so sweet this is a gift the advice you gave me wow it's perfect guys that's not a story for today how are you my subscribers thank you very much for showing me love every time Thank you very much for all the new subscribers, guys. I love you. I love you more than the way the, the way love my retaining subscribers. Mwah. Welcome back. We are still here. Guys, I'll be uploading more now because I want to start vlogging, vlogging. Guys, you are, that support on my lives. Continue, continue. So guys, without wasting your time, today I'm going to send this special, special message to Mr. Sisu. Why am I doing this? Just because guys, you know me, I hear those voices telling me to do the right thing. I've been watching, observing. Today is not going to be a letter, guys like the other day today is message direct message to mr Cecil. i know you don't know me but it's me one of you who visited nyabohanze from uk so now i'm called names that time they said I was strong, but now they've said I'm weak. <laughs> this time they are calling me a name, Mr. Cecil, that I'm lazy because I'm sitting here and vlog. But it doesn't change anything because I believe in reality and truth. I'm here. To stand up for those who doesn't have a voice, Mr. Cecil, like you. Why am I saying this? I've just seen you. Might be the party time. I didn't really pay much attention. But this time, I paid that attention, Mr. Cecil. And I saw that man based in America. But... Jamaican man, trench town boy. That's your name? When we are vlogging, when we are here on Whitey Street, can I call you by Mr. Cecil? Or can I call you by trench town boy? Wow, I'll be mixing. I would rather call you Mr. Cecil because this history is going to be there forever. Whatever, whatever you've done to us Africans, whether it's Nyabohanze, Kenya, 
or whatever, wherever. But I'll still say something about you. I've seen a man. That day, Mr. Cecil, you packed your bags and your wife was next to you. I know it wasn't one day. It took some time. It took some time because that was your dream. First time was a party, 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 party. But you promised that, you know what? What I've seen, I think I'll be the right person to go and help that boy, that widow, that girl, that old woman and man there who is so vulnerable, they don't have anything. Might be they do have one meal a day. They don't have shoes. They don't have proper houses. They live in mud houses, as we call it here in Africa. Whenever we want to insult those less privileged people, you came for them. You came to rescue them. Oh, look at you. You saw that road. That road, meandering road. I couldn't walk, Mr. Cecil. It was very hard for me to get to the other side of that road. I find it very difficult. But now, look at what you've done. That day, Mr. Cecil, Congressman welcomed you to her house. You sat on that table and you asked for coffee. <laughs> she was confused. Like coffee. That coffee wasn't there, but she couldn't tell you that there's no coffee. And she said, wow, I'm going to get you a sachet. Wow. Those sachets, I know. Is it hotel sachet? Was it a correction from the, that hotel somewhere there? Was it from the plane? No one knows. It's only that person who corrected it. That was fun. That was good. Wow. Seeing all those chapatis, fruits, everything. Wow. I know, it's deep down inside you. You thought, wow, this is nice. Hospitality. I know this woman, she loves cooking for visitors. I thought, wow, my be. You are there. Special one, Mr. Sisu. Because a large South African woman, she couldn't appreciate that hospitality. And she's a betrayer. Mr. Cecil, this is not the story for today. We are just getting there. Because you packed those bags. And everyone was looking forward. Even Auntie Yami was looking forward. But oh my God. We always pack bags with uh, love those bags are packed with love mr cecil i think that day was the best day in life as you board that flight long 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 flight to jomo kenyatta airport with love smile talking to your neighbor sitting next to you in that flight was it business class or economy no one knows but you told that person so like i'm going to africa i'm looking forward my vacation as we call it mr Cecil. wow that was really good i can imagine how excited everyone your friends family your wife your dearest wife so excited and you arrived 
in your hands, Mr. Cecil. I'm not gonna be fit. Wow. I saw a vision in you. I'm like, wow. That road. That unpassable road. That road heading to the rich people of Nyabuhanze. Who lives in villas. Wow. The road. Someone there. Our royal, royal visitor, our royal brother, Mr. Cecil, had a dream after seeing that road. And Yami did not have that dream. She just struggled, struggled. Even today or tomorrow, she will still struggle if she goes there because she didn't have that dream. And those rich people there did not have that dream. But Mr. Cecil, God chose you to rescue that one and that one. Wow. I thought to myself, Woo! Mr. Cecil is there with Congress dad. Our dad. With machete in his hands. As usual, what do we call it? Is it a threat? No. It's about roadworks. Start trying really hard to supervise everyone to do the right thing. And Mr. Sis was there. And he managed our conduct, as we call him, managed to use his tricks to trick you. Because don't forget, Mr. Cecil, we are full of greedy and envy. Our hearts are full of hot paper. We don't forgive. This is what we are because we are obsessed to hate. Then we wanted to buy you by telling you that don't listen to those people. We are going to get you land, Mr. Cecil. This is us. It's easy for us to grab land from the vulnerable and offer it to Jamaican uncle, Mr. Cecil. But unfortunately, you showed us that you are not corrupt like our leaders that didn't go well with us because we are used to grab take take for one dollar and double it or three times four times to our diaspora brothers and sisters because this is our obsession mr cecil Thank God I saw a man. I saw a brother. I saw a father. I saw a husband who has intelligence, who has wisdom. If I call intelligence, that is very strong word, but wisdom. I saw your face, Mr. Cecil, and all the reactors got their reaction. You went viral, Mr. Cecil, until today. You are viral. What does that mean? What does that mean? Do you give some conditions, Mr. Cecil? Nah, nah. Computer says nah. You don't give conditions like me and the other person. We are good at giving conditions. We are happy when the vulnerable are suffering. But Mr. Sesu, you did not do that. Your God told you that no, 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 no. You are the chosen one to rescue those vulnerable. But 
The devil did not accept that. The devil has to fight you, Mr. So this is how we are. We are used. We are obsessed to evil. We are obsessed to hunger. We are obsessed to uh, 419. Do you know the meaning of 419, Mr. Cecil? Scam. Hey, I know, you know. We are obsessed. Because what we want everything to be ours. That's why it cannot go right. Mr. Cecil, you had another dream to help further to identify the real, real vulnerable people because that was your mission. But it did not happen. It did not end well. Why? Because we are people who doesn't care. We are people who is going to come out and expose the right thing. We cannot challenge bad things. We will support because we take, we are good at taking, receiving. We don't know the meaning of giving back. We use this name, giving back to the community, but we don't give back to the community. We love receiving. The rich in Africa receives and keep it to themselves. Piles, piles, piles of bags of those donations from abroad. Money. You name it, Mr. Cecil. This is how bad we are. I looked at you that day. You sat on that corner next to Kitty. I'm like, no, 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 no. Mr. Sisu, don't stress yourself. Don't stress yourself. This is us. We don't care. We don't care. Because we keep grudges inside us. Know us. I felt so stressed out. It wasn't funny at all. You couldn't speak. I thought, wow. I was ashamed. You didn't say a word. But only your action taught us the real story. I saw the pain in you, Mr. Cecil. I saw the pain as a mother. I thought to myself, look at our brother there. Someone's father someone's husband someone's granddad stressed out in a foreign country in the middle of that remote village of Nyabuhansi no matter what we call it Vira or whatsoever I'm like this is the evil world. That showed me, Mr. Cecil, how this world can be evil. But God is with you. That made me to tell this story to you, Mr. Cecil. And to tell you the truth, why Africa is not going nowhere. This is reality. Our leaders are full of corruption. And now, all of us, we fall into that trap. We've inherited on that such act. Shame on us, Mr. Cecil. Wherever you are, I know God is with you.
Wow. I saw you in Narok. At that place of that Maasai with passport. A place where I hope no one is going to be given condition to go there. Because of what they believe. But Mr. Ciso, after seeing that, I thought, wow, you are in good heart. Because that guy, Maasai with passport, God bless him. But inside you, you know the truth. I don't know the truth. There are a lot, lot of speculations out there that someone called you. But, Mr. Ciso, the truth will prevail. It doesn't matter how hurt you are, Mr. Ciso. But know that this is you. What you've carried is you and those vulnerable people are still there waiting for you if you promise a vulnerable poor less privileged mother or an orphan a cup of sugar they will never forget remember mr cecil they are still waiting for you I know next time you will try to change how you did it. It's good, Mr. Sis. God wanted you to know the truth. Why are people out there called names? Because they are fighting for justice. I know you watch our videos, Mr. Sis, but you didn't believe us might be but this is what is going on there's only one family out there that family they are there to control everyone their their voice controls every person they can easily take mr Cecil. you didn't want to be there you stood up for them but what i can say to you mr Cecil, they want like that you cannot do that you cannot do that because this is a strong cult this is not easy this is the just the beginning mr sis you didn't see anything how come will someone just get up from their bed or mat that today i'm gonna turn against this family i'm gonna turn against this person mr sis there's a reason i think wherever you are I know you are very diplomatic. You handled every situation very, very diplomatic. Kudos to you. I give you credit. I give you a trophy for that. Kudos to you, Mr. Sissy. But now, I'm happy that at least you know. But even if you know, you know yourself that it's not gonna go well with people like me people like that reactor people like that person because they will call us names but do i care me no care because what i'm doing here it doesn't matter how old how young how evil how poor how rich i am but what matters is i'm here to speak the truth and that truth will get someone out there and me and that person free welcome on board mr Cecil. welcome on board as you cut short your vacation it doesn't matter i know you was prepared 
We need to prepare like soldiers. Mr. Seso. I know this is not the end. Or the beginning. I know Africa is your home. I know you come back. Very strong for us. Because you did this not for you. You did it deep down, pure. That pure heart, Mr. Sisu, that pure heart is genuine. I saw a genuine person in you. I saw a genuine person who is eager. If we have people like you, in this world, things will change. I saw a leader in you. I saw a genuine person in you. But we don't appreciate those type of people. Because this is us. What we will support what we praise is evil. We are greedy people. We are evil. All over our face is written evil, greedy, scammers. That's why we carry those heavy, uh, heavy bags and hide them somewhere in a secret place. We couldn't allow you To take those, those heavy, heavy bags filled with love to that poor person. We do want you to reach them. Who are they? Because they don't praise us. We want people who praises us. Who are you, Mr. Siso? We like people whom we can control their worth. This is how we are built up. Is it real? No one was built up like that. No one was born a greedy person. But people change, Mr. Siso. People out there, Mr. Sisu, they like taking, I'm repeating, taking. I've seen it. And I know what I'm talking about. It's a shameless act. They don't care. Even their faces. You see them that they, like, they've killed someone already. You can see them, how they look. Like they are, uh, they are uh, guilty of assassinating someone. I'm sorry to use that, Mr. Sisu, but you know where I'm coming from. I mean it. Because someone who is royal, someone who is, uh, um, who sympathized with others, will never show their face like they've killed someone. They've assassinated someone. But because of greed, that greed is grown. Now that greedy tree has got a lot of branches everywhere. Roots, strong roots circulating. But everything is about me. That's why, Mr. Cecil, you can see things did not work. If that boy in Argentina was there, everything would work. Because he will show the whole world that this is because of me. Mr. Cecil, thank you very much for the vote. Before I forget. You did that road with love. But let me tell you something. One day, you will look for Auntie Yami, Mr. Cecil, because that road will have a lot of rules. One day that road, some people won't be allowed 
to use that rod because they are against evil. It's like a joke, but it will happen because I know what I'm talking about. That woman, that man there, who shared their land, Mr. Sisu, it's not your fault, but it's them, this is how they work. They don't care. Mr. Sisu, in Africa, let me tell you, when government wants to grade, I don't know, do they call grade a road? They will contact people first. And also they will pay. That's why it might be, you can see people crying. It's not your fault, Mr. Sisu. It's not your fault. This is how they, it works. And even then they know. They are not thick. They know that they did the wrong thing, Mr. Sisu. But it's not your fault. You did the right thing for us but because we don't care we are selfish that's why we didn't even tell you the truth that okay before doing that let's go and contact the owners of that land but because we don't care we praise our fortunes our way and we think we are big people in that village we did not care. That's why, Mr. Sis, you can see that guy, that um, orphan, that widow, that vulnerable woman, that vulnerable man, that child, their girl child, they are crying for their land. Inside them, they are hurt. But it's not your fault. It's not their fault. It's those people's fault because they don't care about these people. They, are, they can easily grab everything from these people because they don't care who they are. I know you've learned a lot, Mr. Cecil. This experience will be there forever in you. Wherever you go, apologize apologize for us i'm saying sorry please say sorry for us auntie yami i'm here to apologize on behalf of us evil people who doesn't care i've been there before mr Cecil. this is reality you couldn't have changed anything because then the word peace to them is a threat, is an enemy. There won't be any peace because they've chosen, they've chosen to crucify people. They are the slave masters. They are, they are the slave masters. And they don't care because they think they rule the world, Mr. Cecil. Take it. Listen to my message, Mr. Cecil. I know someone there will say, are you from Nyabuhanze? Why are you concerned, Mr. Cecil? I'm really concerned because I'm one of them from diaspora who loved that village who had a plan to go and support those vulnerable people but unfortunately my dream did not come true I saw the warning lights, traffic lights, great. Do you need to cross? I'm not sure. I think people, you know much about traffic lights. What, that, what, what does red light mean? 
guys let me know am i right or am i wrong am i overreacting about this situation no 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 mr Cecil. wherever you are god continue to bless you remember your dream that dream one day you fulfill i know that dream that dream one day that dream will come to reality but don't forget that that vulnerable person out there in Yabohanze, they are still waiting. They are still waiting for your promises. Please forgive us. We are greedy. I'm going to repeat. Forgive us. Don't be angry with us. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because in that minor there, Mr. Cecil, was happy was happy to see you protecting them that vulnerable person out there was already happy because their that message to them was like god or diamond so listen to your voice that little voice mr Cecil. listen to that little voice because you started it you started it and you cannot give up you cannot give up mr Cecil. I don't think you give up. I can see someone who is strong. You won't give up. I'm not saying you have to go back to Nyapohanze, but there are ways, Mr. Cecil, how you are going to reach the right person who is in need. You don't owe anyone. We don't owe anyone. I've learned my lesson because I was the same. Who will give to the rich just to get praise? Just to be known. Who will back the rich just to be known? Who will show I care to the rich only and forget that there's someone there who is less less privilege there's that vulnerable person who wished i could reach them but i failed myself mr cecil i failed i admit i failed so i don't want you to fail because of that person because of that greedy person because of that evil person because of that machete, good for nothing person. Or because of that big so called content creator or YouTuber. I'm sorry. Because what we do is press, press, press. If we don't press, we are out. Mr. Sisu. Do you look like someone who has to praise someone? Or do I look like someone who has to praise? No. We did that. But now, the truth must prevail. I'm sorry, Mr. Cecil, but I thought I have to say this to you. Thank you very much. I wish and looking forward to you watching and listening to my message this was just special for you i always do lives but i thought let me vlog 
and pass this message to you, Mr. Cecil. God bless you. I'm so happy because I saw you and I've just seen that you've posted. God bless you. I was relieved. Everyone out there is relieved. We don't hate you. We love you, Mr. Cecil. Whatever you did, don't be ashamed of yourself. You did the right thing. You fear not. You did the right thing. And enjoy your vacation. And I know one day you will come back to Africa and fulfill your dreams. God bless you abundantly once again. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate. Thank you very much for your comments. Thank you very much for your love. Thank you very much. And once in a while, I'll be coming live, especially when I'm so busy. You know, I'm a busy person. But at the end of the day, guys, I love you so much. This is me. This is Auntie Yami. I like telling stories sometimes. I just talk as it comes, guys. This is the gift. I've got this gift, guys. I can just talk. So this message, pass it for me to Mr. Cecil. Safe flight back home. Guys, I love you. Enjoy. Take care of yourself. Love you, love you, love you so much. God bless you abundantly. Ciao, ciao. Bye.